the dish with me that's me i'm coming with a new series i've been requested by many of my subscribers to show how i make different kinds of squash so today we are using the acorn squash and i'm going to be making the weight watchers apple pie in the squash i think they called it something like that so this is based on the weight watchers that was in the email or it was on the facebook post it was apple pie in a squash so i decided to make it and do my little spin on it. I don't know if it'd be much different, but some of the ingredients I might not have, but I'm gonna show you how I'm going to make the Weight Watchers apple pie in a squash. Let me show you, turn you around, and let's get started on our apple pie in a squash. I'm interested, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty interested in this. Okay, in this pot, I have about four apples chopped. All I had around was, I think I had gala. I'll double check on that. So I've got four apples chopped, like I said, whatever I had on hand. A couple tablespoons of plain water. You might need to add more water depending on when they cook down. And I have a mixture of Lancanato monk fruit sweetener, a tablespoon, and a tablespoon of apple pie spice. Okay, so we're gonna turn this on. All right, we're gonna cook this down. It may take a few minutes, I'll bring you back to show you how bubbly and thick it becomes. All right, here's our acorn squash. I'm going to show you how I cut it in half and put it in my prepared pan to steam. Wish me luck cutting this because these are the hardest things in the world to cut. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pierce it and drag it. And then do the same thing with this side. end off that might help okay so put it back in that slit and just drag it over there we go now i'm going to scoop out the seeds i'm going to put them skin side up covered in a glass dish and microwave them for six minutes i guess i'm going to par cook them before we put them in the oven so i will bring you back to show you how our apples, they're, they're bubbling away, and I'm gonna show you my secret ingredient for this when we come back. You might be surprised, you might not if you know Dish with D. Okay, they're in the microwave, they're going to cook on high for six minutes, and right over here, we're going to put a tablespoon of whiskey. Whatever you have, this is Jim Beam, because I think it goes really good with apples. And it's a tablespoon, it will cook down. Oh, it smells good already. When, when, when you have booze hitting that nice hot stuff, the effervescence is intoxicating. All right, I'll bring you back. See, I did add two more tablespoons of water while you were off camera. So it's four tablespoons total. And you want to have it, let's see how it's a little bit. This is still going to cook a little bit more. So this may cook down a little bit, but I like it a little bit wet. I'd rather have more liquid than not enough. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, I'll bring you back and I'll show you the next Wash step. out of the microwave, it was in for six minutes. You can see how tender it has become. So we're gonna let these cool for a little bit and then I'm gonna show you the next step. Let's look at our apples. There they are. Oh, they look delicious. And now on to the next step. What could that possibly be? Hmm, might be filling and baking, I don't know. Okay, now I'm going to brush the inside of my squash that I removed from the microwave with a teaspoon of maple syrup. And I am using the Chalk Zero maple syrup. One tablespoon is one point, I will be using less than that. So it should be zero points. You don't need a teaspoon. You get that? Then you just brush the inside of your squash. It's my first time using the Chalk Zero brand. I won a contest on their Instagram page. $25 gift card to their online store. So I'm excited to try it. And this so happens I'll be making this this weekend. So I just brush the inside with a teaspoon of this Chalk Zero. And this is how it looks. So it has to go back in the 425 degree oven for 15 minutes. And then when we come out, we'll load the apple back in and stick her back in for a few more minutes and then we'll be able to eat. I'm gonna be, but I'm really excited. 
While the in-cooled <clears throat> squash halves are in the oven, I also forgot to mention that I did do is I sprinkled a little of the apple pie spice on top of the squash halves after I brushed them with the <laughs> maple syrup. So right now I'm going to add a tablespoon of the brown sugar. And a teaspoon or a tablespoon. Don't look at the measurements. It's, I'll have the recipe listed from Weight Watchers in the description box. So you can just, I'm sure you've all seen it, but I'll list it anyway. And I'm also again using the Chalk Zero sugar free maple that I got on their website. They want in our contacts. Just mix this. So it's all incorporated. The points will be listed when you go when you hit the link for the Weight Watchers recipe. You have the have everything here, and I will also mention a few different things I might have done. It isn't very. I think I only added the bourbon one. Maybe the only different things that I've done so far. All right, it's all incorporated. Shut your heat off. Throw in your spinach splash or a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I don't know anybody that measures vanilla extract. I don't. It's vanilla. It's good. Okay. And I'm going to show you now how to make the oat topping. As soon as I grab the stuff. Okay. I put a few tablespoons, teaspoons of butter in the microwave to melt. It's all nice and melted. And then to that, I'm going to add. The rest of the brown sugar, the oats, and the teaspoon, tablespoon of chopped pecans. Like I said, everything will be listed in the description. And you mix it all together. Who's making the streusel topping for your pie? This really smells good, I have to tell you. Might be a vegetable, but oh man, does it smell good. And a dash of salt also. Goes into the apples or something. If I did it, maybe the streusel. Okay. Now we divide our apple mixture evenly between the two squash halves. I made a little bit too many apples, so we're not going to be able to use all of our apples. That's okay. Because I have plans for these apples and my oatmeal tomorrow. Remember, these, all these apples are really, really coated. Okay. And then our beautiful streusel, we just sprinkle between both. Make sure it's all nice and mixed. And I just didn't show you, but in the bottom of these acorn squashes, it was all delicious looking juice. All right. Put half of it on this one and half. This one. I know your finger. Good for me. These are going to go back into the oven. I'm going to show you one real quick. To bake. Look at the size of that. Back in the oven to bake for another, I think, 10 to 15 minutes. And when we come back, I'm going to show you what they look like. And we're going to taste them. A little whipped cream, maybe? Or ice cream? I'm eating real close. Look how good these look. I can't wait to see them done. Okay, I just pulled them out of the oven. Here are my two halves. The streusel is nice and crispy. Looks really, really good. I'm excited to try it. I'm going to turn you around and we're going to have a bite of this delicious apple pie in a acorn squash. All right, here is half of a half. I'm going to show you how it looked on the side. There is your pie. There is your crust. And it wouldn't be, to me, apple pie without a little 
peppery ready whip. But let's give her a taste. All right, let's give her a taste. I'm gonna put too much ready whip on top. Wow. You know what it reminds me of? Pumpkin pie with apples. The butternut squash, squash with all the seasoning and maple has a pumpkin taste to it. Well, I guess it isn't the same family, but mm, it's delicious. It's really delicious. And a whole half is five smart points. But I have half of a half. So I'm going to count it as three smart points. Actually four with my ready whip. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Give this um, acorn squash apple pie a try. It's from Weight Watchers. I will post the link to the recipe in the description box below. And the only thing I did different was I added a little splash of whiskey. That's really it. The rest of it was pretty much to the tea. Let me know what you think. And thank you for, for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And you know what? We'll catch you on another recipe with District D. Enjoy.